sitting down eating <clears throat> and the table faces the backyard and I noticed water dripping I start dripping onto the arugula and I see oh what is that hold on I see some cool plant what is this plant either way I noticed that water was dripping and it's coming from this pod so we don't want that that means that my chard is getting overgrown and when you start seeing the water dripping out it's time to trim it back because yeah we want to make sure that that water's getting to the roots and not draining out that way plus we don't want this pot to break so i'll come back and show you how i trimmed it up this is how it looks at the top of the tower garden i have seven tiers so I just unscrewed those right now. The pump is running. I need to get this off, which is really stuck because of the chard and the celery. So I'm probably going to have to trim the celery back too, just since I'm up here, to avoid the same thing happening to that pot that's happening to the Swiss chard. Wow, look at those roots. And I recently trimmed these roots maybe two, two, three weeks ago when I added this extension. I trimmed the roots really good and look how much they've grown back. So you see what's happening there. That's why um, water's coming out. So I'm going to have to trim them and I guess I'll trim this, the celery while I'm up here. This is my celery. Can you see the roots? This is massive. I don't know how I'm going to get this out of here. Oh, it's a frog in there. Look what I found. Can you see it? Uh, you see this little butt. But I allow, I, I, I let him hang out because, you know, we coexist and he helps out with the bugs. All right, but little froggy, you're going to have to get out so I can trim this down. I guess we'll have some Swiss chard tonight. This is what I trimmed. Um, I tried to trim those were the roots, so I trimmed as much as I can. I'm just going to put it back inside without the um, the net pod and see what happens. Um, it's possible that it may wilt up because I did take some of the roots and so when doing that you don't really know what part of the roots you took from what stem so we'll see what happens all right this is the back view of the cellar so i'm going to take some of these from the back and i'm going to take i'm going to cut some of that root and again hopefully it doesn't mess up the system because i'm not really sure what part of the root i'm cutting from what stem don't want this to, to clog up inside I had to put them back in without the pod because it, it was still too difficult to put back in so I'm, I'm a little bit nervous because some of the roots I had to cut so I'm gonna run the water on for 30 minutes just because I know that the roots have a dirt it shocked them so I put this one back in. You can see this one is already limp, so that it could be possible that that was a piece of root that was ripped. But we'll see what happens. You can see these were the roots, and I like I'm telling you, I literally cut all the roots a few weeks ago. I had to cut the the celery part open. So right now they're literally just sitting in there, so that way the roots are getting wet. So hopefully they bounce back, because my celery, if it works out. That can last you two years. So this is what I end up harvesting. I didn't plan to harvest celery or chard today, but that's fine. I'll do some sauteed chard for lunch and the celery. Me and the kids will eat it with some ranch. I can even um, blend it up to make some celery, celery juice, and that's really good. Good cleanser. So... This is what we had to do today, guys. Sending positive vibes that it bounced back. 
Okay, that was a lot of work. I didn't intend to harvest any celery or any chard today, but once I noticed that water was leaking from the chard pod, I realized that it was clearly time to trim it back. Um, I hope that they recover because I know it was some shock to the root system. I had to trim the roots just to kind of get things together. Right now I'm running the timer on for 30 minutes just so it can really, um, those roots can get saturated. But just send some positive vibes that they bounce back. So this is what we have. So I'll probably eat the celery with some ranch or make some celery juice. And I'm going to saute the chard for lunch or side item for dinner tonight. But either way, being able to eat your veggies fresh right when they've been picked is the best. They have the best flavor. So thanks for joining the channel today.